Recuérdense que el día lunes no vamos a tener clases, porque hoy sí, el día lunes tengo la, la entrevista que les comentaba de la radio, pero no vamos a perder la clase, sino que la clase la voy a pasar para el día martes. Repito, el día lunes no vamos a tener clase porque ese día yo tengo la entrevista, pero la clase no la vamos a perder, sino que la clase la voy a pasar para el día martes, siempre a la misma hora, a las cinco y media en punto. Y por último, repito por última vez para los que van ingresando, el día lunes no vamos a tener clase, ya que si se recuerdan tengo lo de la entrevista, pero vamos a pasar la clase para el día martes. A las cinco y media, o sea que la otra semana vamos con clase martes, miércoles y si no me equivoco estamos finalizando nivel, el día viernes estamos finalizando nivel número seis. O sea que de esta semana a la próxima ustedes ya van con la maestra nueva. Igual con teacher Brenda ustedes van a estar solamente dos meses. Van a estar nivel 7 y van a estar nivel 8. Y vuelven conmigo los últimos dos niveles que sería el nivel 9. Y sería el nivel 10. Teacher, ¿vamos a tener el mismo horario con ella? Sí, van a tener el mismo horario con ella de 5 y media a 6 y media de la tarde. Ok, señores, welcome to your English class. Al final voy a repetir las indicaciones para los que ingresen más tarde. Aunque ahorita, según mi listado, solamente me faltan tres personas. Ok, welcome to your English class. So, I got three questions. I got... Three simple questions. Could you please, Katia Rodriguez, could you please help me to read the three questions, please? Thank you. Okay, teacher. And what is your way to take your stress out? Do you prefer to stay at home instead? Instead? Instead of going for a coffee with your best friend? What do you consider? Is your weakness at English? Thank you so much. In question number two, when you read, instead of going for a cafe, it is correct. This is about cafe is coffee, yes. But cafe is a British word and coffee is an American word. Okay, so what is your way to take your stress out? In my case, I got three ways. Tengo tres formas para en este caso desestresarme. Se prepara Carmencita. My way number one is just to stay at home and watching Netflix. My way number two is have a cup of coffee and watching television. And my way number three is just very simple, just to sleep all day. Carmencita, what about you? What is your way to take your stress out? Se prepara Daniela. In my case, um, I like to listen to music and eat something like chocolate or, um, I know, um, uh, ice cream. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Uh, another way it's um, like you say sleep all day sleep all day okay excellent thank you so much daniela what about you your way to take your stress out be ready verito oh my god okay okay verito please give us your opinion daniela i'm going to let you to participate at the end Veronica and then Franklin. For me, they is work 15 minutes and book read. And, and read books? The read book, but sorry, read book and listen to music. Okay, thank you so much. Franklin, what about you? Be ready, Giovanni Guzman. Uh, I have two forms to ways to I have two ways. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one is the heat up 
coaching bike. And the second is uh, ride a bike. Ride bicycle or ride a bike. Excellent. Okay, nice. Thank you. Giovanni, what about you? What is your way to take your stress out? And then se prepara Daniela. I play football for my friends or my cousin. Okay. Playing football with friends or family. Excellent. Thank you, Giovanni. Daniela, what about you? Be ready, Katy. In my case, I listen to music uh, and, uh, and, and watch the, the movie. Okay, listening to music and watching movies. Excellent, okay, nice. Katy, what about you? Be ready, Marce. In my case, watch series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. and listen to music and mm -hmm. look at the cell phone. Okay, spending time in the cell phone. Yes, me too. I like it too. Thank you, Katy. Marce, what about you? Please be ready, Paolita. In my case, the ways to take my stress out are to go to sleep, mm -hmm. to call to our friends, to do workout, to and to spend time in network social. Okay, spend time on social network. Excellent. Thank you. Paulita, what about you when you feel stressed? What do you do? My way to alleviate my stress is to go with my friends uh -huh. or somewhere alone. That's Excellent. It. Perfect. Let's see. What about you, Renata? What is your way to, to take your stress out? Be ready, um, Kenny. I have three ways to nice. get ready mm -hmm. of stress. It's all listening to music. Mm -hmm. Will I grab or go out with this keyboard? Uh -huh. Or also watch, watch anime. Watch anime. Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. And I'm going to finish with Kenny's opinion. Question one. What is your way to take your stress out. Hello, hello, welcome. Sure. I think your microphone is not working. One, two, three, yes? Mm, I, okay, hola, hola. Sí, yo creo que quizás su micrófono no me está funcionando. No se preocupe, si quiere veamos ahí. Veamos ahí, veamos ahí. Five, four, three, two, one. Ok. Oh. Quizás, quizás, quizás es el micrófono. Quizás es el micrófono. Me avisa, me avisa si la dejo de último o me avisa si hablaría de, de utilizando el micrófono de Dani o de Shirel. Ok, teacher, de último. Excelente. Hoy sí. Hola. Yes, go ahead. Eh, teacher. Ahora se escucha bien. Perfect. Eh, sería la primera. ¿verdad? Yes, question number one. ¿Cómo hace usted cuando, qué hace usted cuando está estresada? Eh, I watch TV. Ajá. Uh -huh. En, eh, hay watching movies. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh -huh. en, watching TV, watching movies. What else? Oh, that's it. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you, Kenny. Daniel, welcome to your class. Are you ready to participate? Thank you, Daniel. Are you ready to participate? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Daniel, question number one. ¿Qué haces cuando estás estresado? What do you do when you feel stressed? I like to uh, take my cat and playing with with it 
Uh, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And other other situations, I like play. I like take my phone and play uh, my my playlist. Excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. And listen, listen, listen music, but I prefer listen lofi, lofi music. Excellent, perfect. Hey, thank you so much. There are many ways to take your stress out. For example, give it to me some example. Deme ejemplos cómo nos podemos quitar el estrés, pero no me mencionen lo que ya dijimos. Por ejemplo, listening to music, watching TV, o sea, esos ya no. Vamos a ver, ejemplos. How can I take my stress out? Example number one. To walk to the park. To go to the park. Example number two. Meet with, with friends. Eat with friends. Example three. Doing exercise. Excuse me? Doing exercise. Do exercise. Excellent. Do exercise or working out. Example number four. I need five examples. So number four. Mm -hmm. Sharing with your friends. Share time with your friends. Spending time with your friends. And the last one, volunteer. The Laughter. last what? Laughter. Laughter. Uh no, I just ah, laughed. Laughed. laughed laughed with your friends or laugh or having fun with your family excellent thank you so much okay question number two could you please giovanni me ayudas a leerla thank you what mm, teacher question number two just read Solo do leer. you prefer to say to stay at home instead of of going for a ca coffee with your best friend. Excellent, thank you. Aquí hay dos formas de contestar. ¿Prefieres quedarte en casa? ¿Qué significa esta palabra, señores? Instead of. ¿Qué creen que significa esa palabra? Instead of. ¿O prefieres? Of. ¿O prefieres? Ok, podría ser. Muy bien. ¿Otra, otra, otra traducción? En vez de. En vez de, o sea, ¿prefieres quedarte en casa o prefieres, o en este caso, como dice Carmencita, en vez de ir por un café con tus amigos? Entonces, si yo voy a contestar que sí prefiero quedarme en casa, usted nada más me va a decir, yes, I do. Y me da la razón del por qué. Pero si usted me dice, no, teacher, yo no prefiero quedarme en casa, yo prefiero ir por, por un café. Entonces, no, I don't. Desde ahí quiero que partamos bien. Yes, I do, si prefiere, o no, I don't, si no prefiere. Les voy a dar mi ejemplo. Ok, do you prefer to stay at home instead of going for a café with your best friend? Para los que acaban de ingresar, se puede decir café también. Dice, pero café es coffee, sí. Pero en este caso, ocupé como la palabra británica. Ellos no dicen coffee, ellos dicen café, pero igual también se puede decir. Entonces, in my opinion, my dearest students, no, I don't. Because... I work from my house because I'm working, I have a home office. So I get boring staying at home from Monday to Sunday. So I prefer to go for a cafe with my friends because I need to go out and see my friends having a good conversation. Let's see, Berito, what about you? Stay at home or go for a cafe? Be ready, Carmencita. Yes, I do. I love sleeping. Okay, Berito oh. likes to sleeping. Excellent. Carmencita, be ready, Daniel. For me, teacher, it depends. But sometimes when I feel um tired i prefer stay at home 
and and when I feel happy, um, I prefer going for a cafe. Okay, so Carmencita has two options. Excellent, thank you. Daniel, stay at home or go for a cafe? You ready, Daniela? Well, it's depend, teacher, because I, I usually, I choose first, first option, home, stay at home. But if, if, if going to one time of the week, maybe I, I choose going for a cafe with my friends. Okay, nice, excellent. Thank you, Daniela. What about you? Me encanta la forma fluida. Todavía me están hablando un poquito robotizado. Así como que piensan antes de hablar, pero en este caso, eh, ahí vamos mejorando, ahí vamos mejorando. Okay, let's continue, Daniela, and be ready, Giovanni. Uh, in my case, yes, I do, because I'm watching movies in the afternoon. Ah, okay. For example, Daniela prefers to watching movies. Excellent, thank you. Giovanni, stay at home or go for a cafe? Be ready, Katia. Yes, Giovanni? Uh, Do you prefer stay at home or go for a cafe with your friends? For a coffee with uh, going a coffee with your friends. Why? <laughs> Oops. Oops. Yoba? Uh, te escucho super lejos, hijo. Te escucho super I, lejos. I don't know what to say. Okay, but please, vamos a ver. Listen, listen again. So. Pay attention to question number two. I got two options. Option number one. Do you prefer to stay at home or do you prefer to go out and have a cafe with your friends? Uh, option one or option number two. Remember you can invent. My God, you can invent. Teacher, I eat volunteer Wait. or do you? No, in order, in order, yes. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Jose, thank you, in order. Teacher, right. how do you say, tú escoges, o usted escoge, o los escoge? It, ah, okay, I'm choosing, but I'm choosing, mm. but in order, according to okay. the list. So be para ready. Decirlo, ¿usted está escogiendo? Are you choosing? Okay, uh, Are you choosing? Okay, yes. This is not random, okay? Aquí no es al azar. I'm choosing but in order, according to my list. So let's see, Jose, you are going to participate. Apagame el micrófono, Josecito, para ver después de quién yes. vas, porque si lo tienes activo, me aparece de primero. Ok, vamos a ver. Tú vas después de, no, que Giovanni se prepara. Eh, tú vas después de Marce. Así que me falta Katy, Kenny, Marce, and then you. Ok. Ok, teacher. Giovanni, two options. One or two? One. Why? Excuse me, teacher? Yes, but why? Uh, uh, if you... Uh, uh, casa? Yes. Why do you prefer to stay at home? Invent. Teacher, I prefer to stay at home because, because uh huh. Because it's safer. Okay, for the pandemic, right? Right. Excellent. Thank you, Giovanni. Let's continue. I said, my God, I forgot it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Katia, thank you. And then, Kenny, stay at home or go for a cafe? Um, in my case, usually I do prefer to stay at home because there are days when I honestly don't feel like going out, but rarely do I go, go out with friends. 
Ok, excelente. Ya no me voy a entretener aquí mucho por el tiempo porque ya me abro la tarde. Ok, let's continue. Kenny, please. Stay at home or go for a cafe. Be ready, Marce. Uh, in my case, sometimes I prefer to stay at home depending on the weather. Ajá. For example, if it's raining, I prefer to stay at home. But if it is sunny, obviously, I prefer to go for a cafe. Mm -hmm. sí, okay, <laughs> excellent. Thank you, Kenny. Marce, and then Jose. In my case, sometimes I prefer to stay home because I consider that my home is a safe place mm -hmm. and I with my family who protects me. Excellent. That's Giovanni's opinion. For example, he said, teacher, I prefer to stay at home because it is, it is safer. Okay, thank you, Marce. Jose, two options. Option number one, stay at home or do you prefer to go out? Be ready, Paola. Oops, thank you, Jose, please. Let me just check. Yeah, I am busy. <laughs> okay. The number one or number two? Number two. Number two. Okay. Teacher, do you repeat the question? Yes, of course. Question one. Prefer, do you prefer to stay at home or go for a cafe? Mm, number one. Because Why? I prefer stay at home while spend time with my family and meanwhile making, how do you say, ideas in English? Ideas. Ideas for my business. Oh, nice. Hey, I like it. I like that example. Thank you, Jose. Paulita mm -hmm. and then Renata. Hi, teacher. I prefer to go with my best friend. Mm -hmm. That's but it. why? But why? Um, but because, um, ¿cómo se dice? Me distraigo, señor. This, no, ah, ¿cómo se dice? Me distraigo. Uh -huh. I, 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 Ajá, ok. Ah, yeah. uh, that's it. Ok, ok. Thank you, Paulita. Renata, and I'm going to finish with Shirel. Stay at home or go for a cafe? Um, I stay at home. Maybe they prefer to stay at home driving or washing anime because I don't mm. like to go out much. Mm -hmm. um, I, that's it. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Shirel, please. One or option number two? Um, option number two, I prefer to go out with my friend because when I pass, because pass time we take, it's so funny. Excellent. That's Thank it. you. Me too. I got a really good family. Okay. Franklin, I don't know if you're ready because I don't forget to mention, but I don't know if you're busy or if you're available. <laughs> I didn't mention. Hello. <laughs> nice, okay. <laughs> es que si te, te hablé una vez y, y como que te escuché ahí algo ocupado. So, Franklin, voy a iniciar la pregunta tres contigo. ¿Qué es weakness? Es debilidad. O sea, en algo que nosotros en este caso, que usted diga, teacher, yo mi debilidad en inglés es esta. Mi debilidad es, por ejemplo, me cuesta entender cuando la gente habla muy rápido. Teacher, mi debilidad es que yo leo y no entiendo. Teacher, mi debilidad es que yo no tengo mucho vocabulario. So, Franklin, what do you consider is your weakness at English? Well, in my, uh, I consider... Uh, my witness in English are uh, the first one is I don't have many vocabulary. Ajá. Uh, Teacher, ¿cómo and, se dice suficiente? Teacher, yo no tengo suficiente vocabulario. ¿Alguna idea? Five, no. four, three, two. Sin activar el micrófono, repita. I don't, I don't have enough vocabulary. 
No tengo suficiente vocabulario. Se lo repito. I don't have enough vocabulary. Ok, Franklin, continue. And in another, in a, in a second, is that in, how do you say, in, in ocasiones. In some cases. In some cases, I don't, I don't, how do you say it there? Understand. I, in the, in the cases, I don't understand to, to the, the people to okay. talk. Okay, excellent. Please, Franklin, choose one student from the list. Or do uh, we have any volunteer? Five, four, three, two, one. Choose one, please, Franklin. Me, teacher. Excellent, Jose. Thank you, Franklin. Jose, okay, what do you consider case, is your weakness at English? I have to, I have to, the first is when the people speak fast. I uh -huh. don't understand these people mm -hmm. because I think I am pro my listening uh -huh. and them is my vocabulary because sometimes uh, when I am talking with another people, uh, I don't have a lot of vocabulary mm -hmm. or I have a lot of vocabulary, but I don't have any ideas. Mm -hmm. How do you express? Excelente, nice. Como ya vas a cumplir años, hijos, vamos con todo. Excelente. Yes, tomorrow. Eh, tomorrow thank you. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Chichiri, como sabe, ah, ya ven, ya ven, ahí tengo mis trucos. <laughs> Volunteer, please. <laughs> Perito, what is your weakness, please? My weakness is pronunciation for people and listening. And listening. Ok, excelente. I don't have vocabulary. I don't have vocabulary. And you don't have enough vocabulary. Ok, thank you. Thanks for giving us your opinion. Volunteer, please. Teacher, yo quiero. Ok, Marce. Marce number one and Daniel number two. Ok, Marce, what is your weakness? In my case, my biggest weakness is speak friendly and maybe I get when people speak to me. That's okay, it. maybe Marce, speak friendly or speak fluently? Speak fluently. Ah, okay, fluently. excellent, fluently. Okay, porque si decimos hablar friendly es como hablar amistosamente, entonces fluently, pero te entendí la idea. Okay, excellent, thank you. Daniel, what is your weakness? In my case, teacher, I have many weakness. Wow. Uh, for example, grammar, uh, read and uh -huh. listening, mm -hmm. vocabulary. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, excellent. Is there another volunteer who wants to share his Me? or her opinion? Thank you, Renata. What is your weakness at English? I think that my weakness is the lack of vocabulary mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. that, and that it gets very nervous when I am going to tell to some mm -hmm. to someone. Yes. Ok, That's excellent. It. Quiero que escuchen la palabra que, que usó Renata. Lack of. Ahí se las mandé en el chat. ¿Qué significa lack of? La falta de. Por ejemplo, my weakness is the lack of vocabulary. Mi debilidad o mi problema o mi circunstancia es la falta de. Lack of. Es la primera vez que se la escucha a un alumno. Lack of. La falta de vocabulario. Excellent. Please, one more volunteer. Five, four, three, two, one. Me Thank you, Carmencita. I'm going to finish with Me you. Too. And Jose, okay, no, you already participated. Ah, yes. Yes, uh, with the question number I three. Okay. The another question. No, 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 don't worry. Okay, Carmencita, I'm going to finish with you. Okay. My weakness is that I don't have many vocabulary and mm -hmm. I get confused to, um, when I, when I, <laughs> when I want to express my ideas. Excellent. Hey, I like it. Teacher, I get confused when I want to express my ideas. Okay. I got three questions. Question number one, 
Could you live without your mobile? In my case, ¿cómo se responde? ¿Podrías vivir sin tu celular? Si yo quiero responder en negativo, me va a decir, no, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Significa, no, no puedo. O si usted me dice, no, teacher, yo en mi caso no hay problema, yo puedo pasar sin celular toda la vida. Ok, entonces en este caso, yes, I could. Yes, I teacher, could. ¿Cómo es? Couldn't. Couldn't. Se los, se los, sí, ahorita se los mando al chat. Si yo quiero decir, ¿puedes vivir sin tu celular? Y vos me decís, no, teacher, yo no podría. Ahí se los mando. Se los voy a mandar en la forma larga. No, I could not. Y en la forma corta es... Ahí está. Oops. Coolant. ¿Y para lo contrario? O sea, decir que sí. Yes, I could. El positivo, cool. Yes, I could. Dicho, yo sí podría vivir sin mi celular. I don't have problem. Ok, yes, I could. So, negativo, no way, no, teacher, my God, I couldn't, no, yo no podría. No es necesario decir, yes, I could live with, no, solo con que, con que diga, yes, I could, positivo, o no, I couldn't, negativo. Y obviamente me tiene que dar su opinión del por qué. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, teacher, could you live without your mobile? Se puede decir móvil o se puede decir cell phone. No le quise pon poner cell phone porque usted ya conoce esa palabra. Entonces, móvil también es celular. So, in my case, no, I could not. Because my móvil is a tool. What is tool? Ahí se los mandé en el chat. What is tool? What does it mean tool? My, ¿Qué estoy diciendo? My móvil is my tool. My, ¿Mi, my, ¿Mi herramienta? Mi herramienta de trabajo. So, my móvil is my tool for work. I use my cell phone. Hay dos formas. Yo sé que usted me va a decir, es que yo me comunico. Ok, hay dos formas de decir, yo lo uso para comunicarme. I used to communicate. I used to communicate with my family, with my friends, with my family in the United States. O estar en contacto. To be, el verbo to be. To be in contact. To be in contact with my teacher. To be in contact with my family in the United States. To be in contact with my friends, etc. Volunteer, please. Could you live without your mobile? Volunteer, my God, my God, it's very easy to, okay, me, thank you, Carmencita, Carmencita number one, Daniel number two, Jose number three, and Berito number four, and Renata number five. Okay, please, number one. Um, I think it's Carmencita, yes. Yes. At this time, since the pandemic, I think I couldn't live without my mobile because I used to communicate with my classmates and teachers. Okay, yes, for the pandemic, it's very necessary. It's a big necessity. Thank you. Number two, who's number two? Daniel, thank you. In my case, teacher, I call them. How is it? I can't. I can't. No, I can't. Okay. In my case, teacher, I can't because I I am a student and my my teacher share the homework for WhatsApp or by or or in in some and sometimes for group for Facebook groups. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you, Jose. Please. Yes, in my case, it's so so because when I am spend time with my family, and I don't know important my time. I don't important myself my cell phone because I'm talking with my dad, my mom, or playing with my sister. Uh -huh. But I am alone. I don't know in the afternoon, in the night, in my bed. I need the cell phone. Okay, thank you so much. Because I don't uh -huh. sleep. Weekly. <laughs> okay, have problems with sleep. Okay, 
Berito, what about you? In my case, um, I, I could not. My mobile is, my tool, uh, information that use every day. Okay, excellent, thank you. Is there an, an extra volunteer, please? Who wants to give us his? Very, thank you, Renata. Thank you, Chair. And then Paola, creo que fue me? la que activó el microphone. Yes, yes excellent. Yes. And Marce también, si no me equivoco. Okay, please, uh, Renata, Paolita, and Marce. And I'm going to finish with you, ladies. Okay, Renata, please. Um, no, I can because it's my world tool to find information for my school. Uh, see mates and to communicate mm -hmm. with teachers and take exams. Uh -huh, excellent. It's a tool, it's a necessity. I think to have a cell phone is not a hobby, it's a necessity. Okay, Paolita, please. Okay, um, no, I can't because. I will lose contact with my best friends. Um, my phone is my life. Okay, wow, nice, excellent, thank you. And Marce, please. I consider um, it's not my life, but it's necessary. But I can distract myself in other things. For example, read, listen to music, spend time with my family my friends etc etc okay excellent thank you so much for question number two i won't take too much time no me voy a entretener mucho acá porque es bien fácil responder how many hours do you spend on social network for example in my case when i have free time for example maybe two hours in the morning maybe one hour at lunch maybe one hour in the afternoon when i got free time and maybe one hour before to go to a sleep volunteer for question number two how many Me? hours franklin thank you and giovanni number Me, two sir. and jose number three okay guys franklin please you first uh, in my case i i uh, I spent to social network in in the night. Just at night, but how many hours? Uh, four or three. Okay, three or four, four or three. Okay, yes. thank you, Franklin. Giovanni, what about you? How many hours? Oops, Jova, thank you. Are you ready? Five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, Jose, please. Edition. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I consider in my case is six hours a day, 24 7. <laughs> oh my God. Uh -huh. the, From Monday to Friday? Part, <laughs> yes. In, in two parts, the first part is watching YouTube, Netflix, WhatsApp, and other apps. And the another three hours is watching ideas for my business with my mom. Ah, nice, excellent. I repeat it again, it's a necessity. Okay, Renata, go ahead. Um, maybe on or two hours in the morning and mm -hmm. maybe three hours in the afternoon. And before I sleep four or three hours when I'm tired. Oh, nice. Excellent. It's normal. Yes. Volunteer, please. How many hours? Me okay, Giovanni, go ahead. La dos, vea, la two, yes, la number two. Yes, number two. And uh, stay for social networks for two or three hours. Or more, or more. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and finish. Okay, nice, excellent. Please, one more a student, an extra volunteer. An extra volunteer. Five, four, Kenny, thank you. Yes, go ahead. 
in my case, I only see it after two o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. and some time. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you so much. And the last question. Okay, Berito, me ayudas con la tres. What is the most useful app for you? Well, there are many. Hay muchas. Hay varias. There are many for me, right? Number one, the first one for me is WhatsApp. Because I use WhatsApp to be in contact with my students and my teachers. Number two, the second will be YouTube because as you know, I like to look, I like to search, excuse me, I like to search videos that help me for some topics in the class. So maybe for me, WhatsApp number two and YouTube number, the first one WhatsApp and the second YouTube. Berito, what about you? What is the most useful, useful app? For me, teacher is WhatsApp because uh, the class and um, together best friends, friends and videos and cool and cool. Videos and in, in what? Excuse me. Cool llamadas. Cool. Ah, call. Cool call. Making calls. Making calls. Okay, thank you. Volunteer, please. Me what is the too. most useful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniela, number one. Franklin, number two. Katia, number three. Marcela, number four. Okay, Franklin, please. Uh, the app that I use, I use full in the day. I have to. I have to. Uh -huh. uh, TikTok and call mobile. Okay, why? Uh, TikTok because it's uh, entertainment. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And the call mobile is my my favorite game. Excellent, perfect. Thank you. Next, please. Who's next? Me. Okay, Danny, go ahead. Uh, in my case, uh, I use the all the time is the WhatsApp because I'm talking with my friends of the university for the homeworks and mm -hmm. the information uh -huh. and Facebook because it's, it's, in, it's entertainment. It is entertainment. Excellent. Thank you. Next, please. Con estas dos últimas personas finalizo. Katy, thank you. The most useful apps. Katy oh, one yeah. and Renata number two. Excuse me, Katy, go ahead. <laughs> okay. The most useful apps for me are Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. Personally, because they are quick, quick ways to communicate. Yes, yes, there are. Obviously, yes, there are. Thank you so much. Excuse me, Marce, you are the second, and then Renata. I'm going to finish with Renata. Okay, Marce, go ahead. Okay, the most useful useful app for me is WhatsApp. I went to really, it's a network social easy for to be in contact yes. with my family, classmates of the university and friends. Excellent, and it is easy and also it is very cheap. Y es muy barata también. Easy to use and cheap. Excellent. Thank you, Marce. Okay, Renata, I'm going to finish with you. Okay. Um, the most useful application for me it was sad. Um, because this is useful for me to communicate mm -hmm. with my friends and with my teachers on uh -huh. Instagram because I introduced me a lady. <laughs> ok, thank you so much and thanks to all of you. Ok, señores, detalles generales. Quiero felicitarlos. Uno, número uno, quiero felicitar cuando digo voluntarios y usted rápido está para activar el micrófono porque así es como usted va a aprender inglés. 
Punto número dos, quiero felicitarlos en realidad a todos. ¿Por qué? Porque hemos mejorado un montón en la cuestión de la fluidez. Ya no tenemos tanto problemas de pronunciación, sino que tenemos que pulir la fluidez en no hablar como que somos robots, sino que hablar en una forma tranquila como cuando estamos hablando normalmente en español. Y en este caso, lo único que tenemos que hacer es la fluidez, el tiempo. No me piensen en, en español. Después traduzca en su mente y después habla. Trate la manera de evitar eso. Trate la manera, en este caso, de, de irse de un solo. De irse de un solo. Ok. Para ir finalizando, señores, quiero que vayamos, en este caso, a su material, porque este es el último tema del de nivel número 6. Los countable y los uncountable. ¿Quién tiene idea qué significa countable? ¿Me? Uh -huh. Uh, countable es contable y uncountable es algo que no se puede contar. Exacto. Por ejemplo, la sal, el azúcar, el agua. Vamos a ver, exacto, muy bien. No, no, no vamos a leer eso porque se me va a ir el tiempo. Es como Franklin lo dijo. Countables are things that we can count. Por ejemplo, tables, computers, apples, Bananas, houses, cars, etc. Uncountables are things that we cannot count. For example, the feelings. Los sentimientos no los podemos contar. Clouds. Las nubes no las podemos contar. Sugar. El azúcar no se puede contar. Salt. La sal no se puede contar. Milk. Use, coffee, todo lo que es líquido no se puede contar. Usted me va a decir, o más de alguien me va a decir, teacher, pero si yo voy a la tienda y le digo, deme una libra de azúcar, sí se puede contar. Ojo, no me piense en español, uno, dos. Se refiere a que si usted agarra un puñado de azúcar, es imposible contar cuántos granitos hay. Pasa con la sal. Teacher, ¿y por qué los líquidos no? Si yo voy a la tienda y le digo, deme un galón de leche. No, estamos hablando del líquido. Usted no me puede decir, vaya, mire, teacher, ahí hay un vaso y en ese vaso hay tantas gotas de leche, tantas gotas de agua, tantas gotas de aceite, etc. Entonces, no se puede contar butter, la mantequilla. ¿Por qué no se puede contar la mantequilla? Porque al derretirse, pierde en este caso. Entonces, preguntas hasta ahorita lo que acabo de explicar. No, teacher. Excelente. Thank you so much. Ok. Quiero que por favor ponga atención al video que vamos a ver ahorita. Countables and uncountables. Food. Countables. Uncountables. Buns, burgers, sandwiches, bread, butter, cheese. Sausages, fries, cookies, cereal, chocolate, mustard, salt. Apples, cherries, 
grapes, olives. oranges, watermelons, peas, jam, milk, honey, water, coffee, tea, juice, salads, pancakes, vegetables, Eggs, carrots, tomatoes, potatoes, flour, rice, sugar. Soup, meat, fruit, seafood. Ok, I'm going to make a stop here. Quiero que me ayuden, vamos a ver qué tanto supimos clasificar los contables con los uncountables. Please, turn on your audios and help me to choose the correct one. Okay, biscuit. Countable. 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 Cheese. Uncountable. Uncountable. Flour. Uncountable. Uncountable. Onion. Countable. Countable. Sugar. Uncountable. Uncountable. Pear. Uncountable. Countable. Pasta, uncountable, fish, uncountable. Are you sure? Uncountable. Okay. On, si, uh, si tienen alguna duda de un vocabulario, me preguntan al final. Fish, it is uncountable. Tomato, uncountable. Bread, uncountable. Rice. Banana. Contable. Water. Water. Contable. Potato. Chocolate. Contable. Sandwich. Contable. Grape. Contable. Carrot. Contable. Egg. Contable. Ok. ¿Dudas o consultas? No, teacher. Ok. ¿Por qué el pescado es uncountable? Uncountable. ¿Por qué? Porque no se puede contar, teacher. Porque no se puede contar, pero ¿por qué? Por el peso. Por el peso es una, muy bien. Hay otra opción también. ¿Por qué el pescado no es? Por los es, kilogramos. Es, por los kilogramos, ok. Usted, usted pesa un pescado, no sabe cuánto va a pesar, ¿verdad? 
pues esa es una razón. Y la otra razón es porque miles y miles y miles y miles y miles y miles y miles de pescados nacen todos los días. Entonces, alguien no me puede decir, vaya, si pote, vámonos al océano y contemos cuántos pescados hay. Es mentira. No se puede porque nacen muchos todos los días. Ok, señores, dos indicaciones. La primera, para los que ingresaron tarde, el día lunes recuerde que no hay clases porque yo tengo el pendiente eh, lo de la entrevista que les comentaba, pero esa clase no se va a perder. Esa clase la vamos a recuperar el día martes. O sea que la Muy otra clásico. semana, la clase del día lunes, la clase del día lunes. Oh. O sea que la otra semana vamos a tener clases martes, miércoles y en este caso, si Dios no lo permite, estaríamos finalizando nivel 6 el día viernes 25. Ahora bien, a partir de la otra semana, ustedes ya pasan con Teacher Brenda. Y recuerden lo que yo les decía, solamente van a pasar con ella dos niveles, nivel 7 y nivel 8. Vuelven conmigo en nivel 9 y en nivel 10. Ok, algo que yo le he dicho a ellos es lo siguiente. Me les vas a dar gramática, pero en este caso necesito que todas las clases que vayas a dar con ellos, todas sean de conversación. Yo ya le pasé un reporte de cada uno de ustedes. Ya le dije cómo es Berito, ya le dije cómo es Carmencita, ya le dije cómo es Daniel, Daniela. Ya le pasé un reporte de todo. Así es que ella más o menos tiene una idea. Colabórenle a ella. O sea, todavía la otra semana van a estar conmigo, pero colabórenle a ella. O sea, de hecho creo que van a sentir súper genial porque ella... Eh, el fuerte de ella es eso, o sea, hacer a los alumnos hablar porque ella más que todo es pura, van a tener pura conversación nivel 7 y en nivel 8. Cualquier duda o consulta me escriben a mí siempre porque yo soy la encargada de mis maestros. De hecho, yo voy a ingresar a la clase para estarla monitoreando a ella y estarlos monitoreando a ustedes también. Así es que no crean que me voy a perder. Yo voy a estar ingresando a clases, pero obviamente no las voy a dar. Y... Esas son las indicaciones. Indicación 1, el lunes no hay clases, sino que hasta el día martes. Indicación 2, el día viernes 25 finalizamos nivel 6, o sea que el día viernes 25 tienen ustedes su última evaluación, su último examen. Y señores, este, y pasan la otra semana con teacher Brenda. Ok, ¿dudas o consultas hasta el momento? Yes, teacher, the sí. final exam. ¿Cómo se dice? Right. ¿Cómo va a ser? Eh, va virtual. A ser? No, o sea, en inglés, how do you say cómo va a ser? How will do it? ¿Cómo lo va a hacer? How, How will you it? will do it? Virtual. 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 A link como, así como la, en la última clase de, del nivel 5, creo que fue. How you will do it? How will you will do it? So, virtual. I'm going to send a link. And you are going to do it. From, you are going to have from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Okay? Another question more. Este es para el viernes, ¿Será, chicos. ¿será, ¿Será el mismo grupo o habrá otro? No, mi amor, el mismo grupo a la misma hora y por el mismo canal. La misma estructura, la entrega de kit, la misma estructura, clases grabadas. No, de ahí vamos igual. Si lo único que va a cambiar es la teacher nada más. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Teacher, no, how, teacher. How, is the teacher? how is the teacher? She's very nice. She's very... Yo creo que en este caso eh, no se puede decir how will it be. ¿Cómo va a ser? Sí, pero how will be es como cuando decís, eh, ¿cómo será esto? Pero cuando hablamos, por ejemplo, animales, el eat. Pero como cuando estamos hablando en este caso de hacer algo, como tomar un examen, es do it. How you will do it. Ok, perdón, me perdí ahí. And ella es bien nice. Ella, de hecho, yo creo que soy un poquito más estricta yo, pero por eso es que la estoy ahí entrenando. Ya les dije que no les dé no aguas. <ríe> Another question more. Another question more. Yeah, no, yes. no, everything is clear. Thank you, Marcelita. Ok, señores, mm -hmm. antes de irnos. Ay, Josecito, feliz cumpleaños, hijo. Thank you, teacher. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños, Josecito, <laughs> cumpleaños feliz. Que Dios te bendiga, mi amor, y te felicito porque sos un niño muy responsable. Sos un niño, un buen hijo. Sos un buen, no, no sé, porque no te, no te Hi, conozco. Teacher. <laughs> Bye, Giovanna. <laughs> Thank you so much, my dearest student. Happy birthday, Jose. You, God bless you. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Take care. El pastel, dice bye, Daniel. Bye, el pastel, dicen. <laughs> Lo vamos a repartir después. Hey, de verdad, nos deben el pastel. Señores, bendiciones. Nos vemos el martes. Bye. Bye, bye, bye teacher. Bye.